Hello everyone, my name is Sadna Singh of Long & Foster Atlantic One Real Estate Group. Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Claudia Retzlaff, the Chief Executive Officer of Avanzar, formerly known as the Women's Center. Thank you, Claudia, for being here today. Thank you, Sanya. I'm happy to be here. Um, Claudia and I um, know each other for many years, and Claudia is a beautiful, represents a beautiful presence in, a, in our county in South Jersey. Um, please, Claudia, um, tell us about yourself and Avanzar. Well, uh, Avanzar, formerly the Women's Center, is an agency that has been in our community for over 40 years. We were one of the first organizations funded to provide domestic violence uh, shelter services. And in that time, we have grown and just done so much. And now, under the name Advanzar, we provide domestic violence, sexual assault, human trafficking, displaced homemaker services, batterers intervention. We have uh, extensive services for um, child care centers. We do a coaching program attached to Grow New Jersey Kids. We just have a myriad of services and we have a dismantling racism program we're very proud of. We are really a social justice agency. That's really our roots because violence against any population is a social justice issue. And so now, and you know, 2019, 2020, we're really claiming it, claiming it and bringing everybody into understanding what um, targeting populations and vulnerable populations and disenfranchised individuals and communities are and how we need to advance them. It's so wonderful um, to be in an environment that um, you're able to offer a plan to a family in need, mm -hmm. whether it's women and children or, um, you know, um, co-parents and, you know, families in general. And some, I know you're very busy. And tell me a little bit about um, how sometimes you're not able to help because of your funding. And uh, sometimes it's, uh, you know, it's hard to lend to how the funding process works. Well, first of all, our services are free and confidential. So, which is important because when you have limited resources, the last thing you're spending them on is for self-help of any kind. You know, that's not uh, the nature of, you know, how people address their, their self-improvement or uh, getting the support they need, seeking counseling, and so we're very happy through our state contracts we can do that. But none of our programs are funded at 100%, and that's where we need the community to support us. And we're very blessed. We do, uh, we do have a very responsive community, and uh, we have uh, quite a few industry leaders that support us, but uh, you constantly have to be out there uh, educating not just the community that needs the services, that you're the provider and you can provide the help, but the community that doesn't know they need the services or the services are needed and the you know business leaders that are invested in the community but really you know need to constantly be educated of what the issues are with their workforce, with their customers, and and so that's what uh, our struggles can be. And we also have struggles because sometimes you have to wait for your payments, and so uh, nonprofits don't typically have, you know, a lot of resources to fall back on. So that's what Advanzar is trying to do: is to try to build some, you know, emergency funding that we can fall back on when, you know, we're waiting for payment because it's not always that timely. There's a lot of red tape. I mean, it's government, so we have to wait wait for that. But we have foundations that step up and support us and, and good uh, good partnerships. But we're only always looking to build more partnerships, either with someone who 
wants uh, us to come out and do a presentation on any of the issues or um, whether or not it's a business that wants us to come out and talk about our services or want to initiate a volunteer program, all of those things. So we're very much um, active in our community. We want to supply services to the community. We want the community to come in and be a part of us through volunteering or if they need services, either. And um, with this holiday time, talk about the, um, let us know about the holiday gift shop that you have. Yes, we have a holiday shop and it's non-denominational, but it is a time of year when people like to get together and celebrate and be comfortable and take care of loved ones. And we provide uh, that for our clients, for the clients that we've seen in the past year that have economic struggles. And what we do is, again, we partner with the community. Um, we have a lot of entities that do giving trees and uh, they bring the, the toys or the the goods, um, whatever they are, personal care products or, you know, items that uh, someone would need to get back in the workforce. And we have a shop and then we invite the clients to come in and kind of, you know, ex have the holidays for their family, you know, within a reasonable uh, constraints because it's not unlimited for for any of us is that uh, they get to actually select what they want for their child so it's not like their surprise on Christmas or any holiday of what their child is getting that they actually say you know I would have picked that or I did pick that from what was available so that is a gift they give their child not that it's a gift we give their child right. but of course we can't do that without the community support. Um, can you share a little bit with us how we can um, donate to Avanzar? What are the different Well, you can go means? online, uh, avanzarnow.org, and there's ways to donate. Uh, you can call us, 609-601-9925. Uh, Trans extension is 1028. And she's our development director, and she will make sure your donation or your uh, your inquiries about how you can donate and and where the money goes and how you can help and you know all your questions will be answered if you want to call or you can visit us online. Look under the donation button. We're on Facebook, and I believe there's a donation button. Any any way, just come see us. We're in Pleasantville, 927 North Shore Road. We've been here. Oh, I'm sorry, 927 Main Street. I'm sorry. And um, as I said, we've only been here uh, a short while. I'm getting used to the new address. But uh, come by and visit us. We did have an open house, and it was uh, a lovely event. But, uh, you know, call and let us know, and we'd love to give you a tour if you're interested because we provide all our non-residential services here. Our residential services are, of course, in a non-disclosed location. Um, thank you, Claudia. Um, I know you mentioned that uh, women, uh, Avanzar, formerly known as the Women's Center, has been in our community for over 40 years. Mm -hmm. Let us know how long you've been with Oh my goodness, this organization? Luckily not the whole time, <laughs> but uh, I have just completed my 33rd year. Congratulations, and Claudia. You. You're such a thank pillar so of leadership in the community. Thank you. And I'm so happy that I got this opportunity to speak with you. Thank you. A little shed some light on the beautiful work that you're doing for this community, your organization. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much for meeting with me. Uh, my name is Sadna. Uh, I'm with Long and Foster Atlantic One Real Estate Group. Please check us out at um, parkbench.com at Harbor Township. And if you wish to be featured, please give us a call. Thank you so much.